Hey guys, just want to share this story. So today, earlier, I was playing like a game on my computer and I'm touching my keyboard and then I realized that I got dust all over my hands and I look at my keyboard and it's filthy, covered in dust and crumbs and hairs. Oh, how disgusting. And to pull out my can of air and blow it all over the keyboard. Blow it all over the place, make a huge mess. I hate dust. And I think pretty much everyone also finds dust annoying. But for some people, dust can actually be a legitimate concern. I hate dust. I don't want it building up in my home. There are many kinds of dust. There's sawdust, coal dust, atmospheric dust. Even crazy space dust. And dust storms? Like, holy cow, dude. Like, imagine being chased by a giant cloud of dust. But we're not focusing on that type today. We're focusing on domestic household dust. This is the kind that builds up on your bookshelves, dressers, under the sofa, and on your keyboard. And on that one really high window above the front door that we can't reach. It's composed of about 20 to 50% of our dead skin cells. That's pretty disgusting. That's disgusting! According to WebMD.com, domestic household dust directly affects about 20 million Americans. Dust also contains pollen, which triggers reactions to people with asthma. Another source states that one in five people show symptoms to dust. Children and older people are also at risk of developing these allergies from dust. A popular channel on YouTube called I Hate Everything posted a video called I Hate Dust, where he rants about how much he hates dust, and that it is an illegitimate problem for him because he's actually allergic to it. You read through the comments and you see other people expressing their stories of the pain and torture and horror from dust invading their homes. Now, there are already a few ways of reducing dust. For example, nets and tarps are used in construction sites to help catch some dust to keep it from going into the atmosphere. But for household dust, the most logical thing to do is to just clean off dusty surfaces using these fuzzy dusters or disinfecting wipes. The issue here is that the dust is just gonna come back in a few weeks, so you're just gonna have to clean it again. And this picture here shows how much dust built up on a laptop heatsink over the course of three years. It can't be used anymore because it would potentially catch fire if it got heated up too much. Okay, let's be honest. People are lazy. How often do you actually clean dust around your house? I'm sure it's not every two weeks. Another issue is dust easily becomes airborne when you clean it. It will get kicked into the air and float around for hours, triggering reactions in people who are susceptible to it. Vacuum cleaners can clean carpets and floors and remove dust, but they're loud and don't actually make you need to clean any less often. They're simply another method of cleaning dust. Dehumidifiers can help to decrease the amount of dust, but they don't always work well are big and ugly and only reduce the dust in the air. They also use a lot of energy to run and shouldn't be left on overnight. It has also been reported that dehumidifiers can overheat and catch fire, especially if it's covered in three years worth of dust like a laptop. Carpet has been known to absorb dust and reduce the amount of it, but it also inadvertently increases the amount of dust mites. Dust mites are microscopic organisms that feed off of dead human skin cells which are found in dust and are present in nearly every household. Now, a common misconception is people aren't actually allergic to dust mites. It's the waste particles they leave behind, which end up in the dust they feed off of, that triggers the reactions. That being said, a dust allergy means you have a reaction from dust mites. It's the same thing, basically. I believe there should be a better way of removing dust other than cleaning it every two weeks and putting down some carpets. Dust is a big problem, and while most people simply say it's annoying and clean it, we tend to forget about how it affects those who are actually allergic to it. I hope you consider my project proposal as an option. As always, thanks for watching. Ah, oh, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna be up all night making this.